Hey there, welcome to Hardcore Sustainable. Uh, today I'm having a little bit of issues with my water system. I have an off-grid water system here and uh, basically I've got a cistern and then I have a pump that pumps out of the cistern and pumps into a pressure tank that then uh, pressurizes my water system. I only have cold water, I don't have hot water because uh, that would be a much more elaborate system. I just need some cold water to be able to wash dishes in my kitchen. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I've been having a problem in that the pump has been kicking on frequently and it's gotten more frequent um, since I got back from Florida in the last couple of months. So you can see it was on for only maybe at the most five seconds before it kicked on again and then it stopped. And now it's kicking on. See, it should stay on a lot longer than that. So there's something wrong, and what I think it is, is that the pressure tank has run out of uh, air. We'll take you down below and show you what kind of setup I've got, but these kind of pressure tanks have uh, an air valve and so you need to keep the air pressure at the right pressure in relation to your pump uh, kick on switch and that will give you the proper pressure and if you don't if you don't have any air pressure the bladder in there is basically empty and so as you pump water in there you're not getting any pressure so the pump has to constantly kick on and that's the problem that I've been having and some of you might have the same problem even if you don't have an off-grid system, the same thing is true with wells or using these pressure tanks in any kind of situation. So the way the system works and the pressure tank works basically is there's a bladder in there and you can think of that as a balloon inside of a tank. And when you fill that balloon up with air um, and then you pump water into the system, it, it goes into the tank and it sort of compresses that balloon. And then when the pump kicks off, when it's gotten to the right pressure, the bladder of the tank will put that pressure constantly on and it'll expand and push the water out of the tank, out of your faucet, and that way your pump doesn't have to be on all the time. Because if you didn't have this pressure tank, the pump would just be kicking on constantly every time you went to use water, and that would kill the pump pretty quickly because they're not meant to kick on constantly that turning on and off is really does a lot of damage to the pump. So that's the basics of how this system works. And so I've got water coming from the cistern going, um, it comes in here, it goes into my pump. My pump kicks on when the pressure gets low. Um, it pressurizes the system. I've got this simple sediment filter here and then it goes into the pressure tank and then um, from the pressure tank, it goes into the up, up there into the faucet and comes out of the faucet. Pretty simple off-grid system. This is a great way that you can use DC power to get water, flowing water, running water in a kitchen or an outdoor uh, application, whatever it is. It's very simple. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shut off the power to the pump so that it won't kick on. And then we're going to come up here and open up that valve and we're just going to let it drain all the water out because that's going to get all the pressure out of the system. And then we're going to test the pressure of the bladder in the tank. Okay, so we got all the pressure out of the system and we're just going to leave it open like that. And my system's pretty cramped here, so uh, it's not a pretty tight situation. You might not be able to see everything exactly, but we're going to do a little pressure test. See, there's like no pressure in there right now. It's going to be loud. It's okay, I'll let you out. It's okay. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie doesn't like the loud noise. Wow, she just about freaked out. Good. It's 
So I added some pressure and now you can see it's pushing water out of that tank. So we're gonna just keep on adding the pressure until all the water gets pushed out of the tank. And then we get that final reading. Then we'll know after all the water has been pushed out that the tank bladder is actually at the proper, temp uh, proper pressure. So now that all the water has come out of the system, um, this is down to zero, and there's just a little trickle of water coming out. So that means that um, the water is all out of the tank. And now we have to test the pressure in the tank again. And let's see. We're at about 26, 27 PSI, so I'm gonna take a little bit out of that because I want it to be just below 25. I think that's just about right. So it's a little bit below 25. Now we can close the faucet handle and then we'll turn the pump back on. We'll get it pumping back up to pressure. And this bladder should be filled at about 23 PSI in the tank here. So our system should pump water and it should be pressurized for quite a while before, before the pump has to kick on again. We'll turn that off. And then we'll go down here. Turn the pump back on. So the water system is back on, and actually there's a little bit of uh, rust or something in there, probably in the water tank. We'll let that run out of there. But you can see that the pump's not kicking on nearly as quickly. It's running, it's got pressure for quite a while. Basically, I found out that there was a problem because my pump was kicking on frequently. And uh, I guess just over time you end up losing some pressure. You can have a leak or you can have uh, a break in the bladder itself, which are both problems that you'd probably have to uh, replace the tank. But this was just a slow loss of pressure and so just pumping it up with an air compressor solved this problem and we got it back to working order and my pump won't be kicking on every two seconds and uh, it'll hopefully last a lot longer. I'll also not be having these extremes of pressure where it would be like high pressure and then it would just go down really quickly because I've got the pressure tank working now. And that's the entire reason that you have a pressure tank like this. So if you have an off-grid water system like this with a DC pump, or you're thinking about setting one up, uh, this is something you need to know about is the possibility that you could lose pressure in your pressure tank and need to fill it up and that's exactly how you do it so hopefully it was a helpful video to you uh, if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to hardcore sustainable if you haven't already done that and i'll see you next time little sophie has taken over banjo's chair yeah i'm gonna hang out here she was squeaking a little bit during the video oh my gosh she's so much more kissy than banjo is Thank <laughs> you.